It's the final week of 2020, and I'm so happy that this year is coming to a wrap. Chica, how about you? I, I, I mean, for me, 2020 never happened. I'm, I can't wait to be over and done with this year. And I'm sure Crazy. so many people can relate with you on that. But irrespective of all that has happened this year, I don't know, 2020 offered us an opportunity to look inward, and it was Absolutely. a blessing in disguise somehow. Yeah. And this is us reaching out to those who you know, don't, f don't share the same um, point of view yeah. in terms of 2020. So no matter how bad the year has been for you, you being alive alone, it's something to be, It's the greatest you know, lesson, actually. Amazing. Alive, yeah. Yeah. So just be grateful for that. So I'm grateful for 2020. You know, it brought so many things my way. Do you know the, rev the Reverie group started Yay, in 2020? Yay, Reverie! Congratulations. <laughs> so it was a post-COVID, um, you know, um, of development. We started in 2020. And I think we've done we've done quite well for 2020 for ourselves. I'm really super proud of what Gains we've done. Gainesville Realty also launched towards the Amazing. end of the year. I was going I mean, to wait for you to Chicken's Market, that. Delicious, Smoothies and Juices. All of those business ideas were born Great. in the COVID season. And so, Great. of course, there's a silver lining True. to that cloud. That that's why COVID, yes. true that's why i said it's offered us an opportunity to look inward and you know just re-strategize and you know just do something Breath different new idea. Yeah. Yes. so on today's episode of the real talk we will be looking at 2020 in retrospect but before i continue i'd like for you to go ahead and subscribe and um, hit the bell button to get notifications when we put out content like this every week you know and also if you're watching us on any platform and you'd like to contribute to the things that we talk here you know just go ahead and you know leave a comment and if you want us to talk about something feel free to drop a comment just send us a message or anything and we'll be more than like glad our to videos, do that share sure. spread the word <laughs> I'm sure you Absolutely. like it, that's why you've got into this point. Right. So, of course, share the same goodies with someone. Share our right. videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so going on for, let's let's look at 2020, Chica, mm -hmm. um, in retrospect. And um, uh, coming from the angle of real estate, um, I think when the year started, you know, um, there was, um, you know, very good focus for real estate, yeah. you know. Though some people, you know, saw 2020 as a year where um, the market will be, you know, the growth won't be so significant. Some people projected, you know, very outstanding, you know, growth for real estate. And then something Boom. happened. COVID kicked in. We and cannot was talk about 2020 without, without talking about the pandemic. I think 2022 just be... A COVID year. That's what we should call <laughs> it. It was the yeah. highlight of it the was year. The highlight of the year. Yeah. So COVID came and then it knocked off everything. You know, we were locked in the house for quite some from, for some months, and you know things happened. Businesses fell off. Some people, you know, lost their lives. You know, and so many things happened. But post COVID, for real estate, especially in this country. Yeah. Something happened. It felt yeah. like you know it was it was it was we were on steroid like mm. the market itself was on steroid and way. even though it wasn't um, general because some other arms of real estate suffered like the, yeah. the commercial, commercial part the hospitality yeah segment, suffered yeah. Yeah. i'd like to ask what do you think was the trigger for um, that uh, outstanding growth or that outstanding boom that was experienced in the, the real estate sector well, after covid it's no news that during when the, when covid first broke a lot of um, other investment vehicles or other investment um, options really suffered okay. stocks fell people people were losing money on the daily but when it came to real estate especially in the residential um, sector and also the medical healthcare facility sector okay. um, it's interesting to see that values or you know just safety when it comes to investments skyrocketed in this area and that's just one simple thing it's due to the fact that at that point in time everyone was stuck home, home and so true. if you owned the home then you had something of value true. if you were looking to buy a home then you were making the right decision, decision. because that's no time to go about shopping for an office space true. because most people were working from home. from home that's not time to go and live in an airb or short let apartment where true. you can come in where you can interface with people who are not family members true. everyone was shut down home and so home became the safety net for true. every individual so people true. who were transacting in homes people who were buying property landed property to resell at some point were cash now big time because we know that real estate it has been proven now that residential real estate is to a large extent cushioned by the effects of pandemics of things like um, 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 
um, recession. It has proven to have elements that are some sort of some recession yes. proof. Yes. True, and so it, it was very interesting to see that people were looking, people didn't just want to keep their money with them or put it in um, a place where they didn't know what they would get as interest rates so. or returns. People wanted to put it in something that, you know, would help them stave away such funds so that they can increase value for value their money the and residential real estate and you know landed properties made possible for that uh, made, made that possible and so it was very interesting to see that amazing even at that point in time even with covid trans we let it transaction still went on and that's all thanks to tech, tech. because you know it, nobody saw awesome. this coming nobody true, saw this coming true. but some companies had already begun to adopt position tech themselves. models yeah. that ensure that their business processes could Still operate seamlessly even if you know haphazardly but seamlessly on tech platforms and so True. companies like that already hit the ground running when True. covid broke so True. it was very interesting to see the role that tech played in enabling people to actually carry on investments in mm. the residential um sector of i agree i agree i agree absolutely right like so many trends emerged in from yeah emerged in 2020 so you saw the likes of um um virtual um working people yeah people don't even okay that's what even property you know virtual tours and all of that yeah. so like and on a general outlook okay. like people more people now work from home compared Absolutely. to um, um while we had the um that was pre-covid um era mm. so right now even i was talking to a friend recently he works in an oil firm like till date they still haven't you know called everybody to come back to the office so because percentage of your staff work yeah from home. many still work from home because I think companies are, trying, are starting to realize that um, um, the operational costs that they incur, you know, getting everybody to come work um, from the office, That's it's crazy. even high compared to, you know, when they work from home. And somehow I've, I've, I've heard companies who have said their productivity, you know, Double with their people. staff work amazing so this is these are trends that i feel like would even continue going into yeah going into 2021 amazing remote working it's some it's a patch it's a trend that i that i'm very certain would you know continue going into 2021 another, another trend that i am very eager to see is the breakdown of traditional norms when it comes to carrying out real estate investment processes okay. i cannot because before now in nigeria if you're looking to invest in real estate you would never see the deal completely over you know over virtual means this going on a home tour <laughs> virtually, virtually was not something that we were accustomed to on this True. side of, of our woods but now you see that almost from start to finish you can complete the entire real estate investment without process human interaction i look forward to seeing you know more of that as true well true so if you're around. looking if you're out there and you're looking to invest in real estate it doesn't have to be the brick and mortar build houses mm -hmm. or sell houses you know you could even go into prop tech and that's some some sector that going forward would really thrive in this country yeah. you get so what do you think would be the future of workspaces because i see that you know um tech is beginning to find its way also into co-working spaces. A lot of young, vibrant, and um, venture capitalist firms are also beginning to invest in that, where you know there's a huge space and two, three, four, five companies are sharing those working spaces because they, they don't have to be in the office nine to five, Monday right. to Friday. True. So maybe just on Mondays when they have their board meetings and maybe at the end of the week. So you see that two, three um, companies can share, come together and share spaces and that makes for business sense. Do you Amazing. see more of that happening in 2021 as well? I think pre-COVID, um, uh, co-working spaces was a thing that was booming. It was like, already a it thing. Was, it yeah. was already a thing in Lagos and it was actually booming. Mm. But um, during and um, just after the COVID um, period, where I think that, that sector kind of slowed down okay. because I think they somehow fall under the commercial um, real estate sector. Mm. So it slowed down because people are now giving um, 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 the, the, the will or the luxury of, you know, doing these things from, from the house. So you wear your pajamas or wear a shirt and wear your, your, <laughs> your Zoom meetings. And for your Zoom meetings and you don't have to go, you know, anywhere to do it. Just get your internet and then you plugged in and, you know, just get things going on for you. It was also good to see that content really traction and took on a whole new level in 2020. Because everyone was, was happening. online. Man, content was everywhere. It was, 2020 was the year that I saw people going out of Lots, their way to yes. put out content. Like, content. because you were you don't have to we, we didn't have the opportunity to go out to meet people so you, all you had left was social media presence, platforms your yes. online presence your website your social media platforms and 
so many people utilized it. It was awesome to see. Sometimes I open my Instagram and everywhere, live videos, one right. training or the other, one, sure. one lecture, one. It Absolutely. was just awesome to see I that. I also noticed that the, co the content by brands, the ones that traction the most and got the most um, engagements were content by brands who still chose to be humane True. about their content not just going all out for all oh, we're out we're out for market share True. a lot of brands use that time to create awareness around covid use that time to reach out to their communities empowering True. people helping True. in little ways those brands created content out of things like that and those ones stuck for stuck. me personally i mean True. even the numbers i agree displayed that those um brands really did well i in agree i agree it was it was it's just i think it's just right not to act oblivious of what was going on yeah. i still try to push houses and things like that on people you know so it was it was awesome to see so many people became empathetic right. and you know, they were putting out content that was coming from a very human point of view, and it was awesome to see. I have a question. Do you feel like more people bought homes or owned properties in 2020 compared Chica. to 2019? I mean, that's a question. I'd like question, to think, yeah. I don't have the numbers. You remember but you told me that when COVID first <laughs> broke out and you used to go out on tours and I literally the started. Were Oh. I literally started my business immediately yes. after, yes. after the lockdown. Mm. I remember the first day I, I, I went out to the street to, mm. you know, go um, 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 listings, get listings. List, list hunting, yeah. I was out and it seemed you, you get to a property and you have like three clients trying to check the, the property. property with their realtor. And mind you, I was just starting out. Yeah. So sometimes I just I'm like, you know, let them just finish so I can come in and take a picture that I have to go, you know, put up for, on my own platform. Yeah. And sometimes before you come out, you hear it's sold. sold yeah. Yeah, so it was just wow. awesome to see that, um, you know, everybody was just trying to get a home. It was, it, it was, the market was booming, like, tremendously. So hopefully and that sets the tone for 2021. Amazingly, as well. We can expect amazingly. a bigger boom, True. you know, in real, real estate residential sales. True, amazingly. And also, um, one thing that stuck out again this year was, um, the um, uh, you know we experienced series of um, devaluation the naira itself mm. and you know that affected prices of houses that was something that I also noticed you oh, know yeah. so um, home prices, home prices they've grown like yeah. they've grown significantly like um, there was the there was that there was an angle of the demand supply part where mm -hmm. it's like more house more demand yeah, compared to the houses yes, that was yes. that was available that inventory also affected was low and demand was high. True. Yeah, that affected price, and then there was also um, um, the, the 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 increase in the cost of building materials. You know, our materials, houses we have yes. 70, 80 percent of uh, we source those imported. things almost imported. Mm -hmm. So you get these things where where the prices were increasing, and it was also affecting the prices of houses. You get. So what would you envisage literally for twenty twenty one? I mean, going by the things that have happened in the year, what are your thoughts? I mean, just off the cuff. Okay, so for me, for twenty twenty one. All right, for twenty twenty one. Some of the trends that were created by COVID, um, I'd like to think they are here to stay. The likes of, you know, virtual um, work, mm. working from home and things like that, these things are here to stay because they're not going anywhere. So if you are someone who, you know, you're planning to, you know, um, build a commercial property or you already have one and you're experiencing low downtown and things like that, I think at this point, instead of maybe trying to wait, yes, of course there's, the, the vaccine is already out, but like I said earlier, companies are starting to see that even the operational cost from or com um, working from home, co when they compare it with those who, when, when they have the staff working from home and when they come to the office, it's even better when they work from home. So going forward, I'd like to think if you are in that space and you feel like you're not getting traction enough, this, this is the point where you start thinking of repurposing, you know? You know, start repurposing your space for you know um, things going forward, and then there are a couple of things that you should um, um, notice. The the COVID also brought something that I think made sense. COVID um, um, redefined what um, a living be. space should be. Absolutely, you know, before, I was just going to say that. Yeah, too. so before it was simply you know maybe living room, living room kitchen. kitchen, and but now because after we've experienced about two, three months at home. People now know that your home, your home, home should, every, should be everything, it's everything. You should serve all your needs, Agreed. whether it's fitness, Perfect. whether it's wellness, Perfect. whether it's um, uh, recreation, Perfect. whether it's work, play, every even spiritual, like a zone True. kind of meditation I agree space, with you. everything I agree should with be you. embedded in like, your home. And I think that's a note to developers as well. True, true. You know, in so, curating homes True. that people would actually 
really readily invest in. It's important true, to you know, bear that in mind I agree. as 2021 hit. Awesome. So going forward, it's it for if you're a developer out there, you're looking to build properties. Um, the 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 buyers, the clients. Um, 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 demands are actually changing. People want spaces where they can actually do recreation activities. They can, you know, just unwind, do things and not feel, feel like boxed they are boxed in. You get so that's that. I'm pretty pretty excited for 2021, even though um, I saw a post on I think N6 page where he was saying 2020 was hyped and that's why he went south. 2021, <laughs> nobody should talk. Don't say anything seen, about 2020. Don't hype it. Leave what? me. Don't touch it. This is have the you last seen this guy? Uh, Perusi. Perusi did something about that. <laughs> don't talk. Don't hype. Don't say anything true, about 2020. This is the last week, Chica. And right. if you go online, it's the hype you compare this hype you have right now to what nobody you have. Nobody's hyping 2020. Nobody just wants. Nobody's saying, oh, 2021 is my year. 2020. Everybody's, you know, skeptical and scared. But keep somehow. your hopes. I mean, but, keep, you know, your keep, hopes keep your hopes. Up. Up. I mean, if, one, if there's one thing that I have personally learned from 2020. 20 this year is the fact that no matter how bad things get they will pass eventually there's Everything always a will, silver lining it, it will pan it will pass True. So, look 2020 is, has come and it's gone True. and you know we can only hope for better and plan and prepare so what 2020 has done is to teach us also that things can come out of the work True. and so we always have to envisage you know True. better options better alternatives True. how can you float your business virtually True. how can you continue to ensure that your business is recession proof pandemic proof. we need to continue to have these conversations and also structure um, strategies and models around our businesses that will ensure that True. our business can float even in times worse than this because i mean there's a second wave of covid going around now who knows yeah, i mean I there's, the there's, a, there's, a, there's a vaccine you it's say but still it's always you know hope for the best and prepare for the for worst, the worst kind of scenario True. and covid 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 um did something it's I think COVID made us understand that there's more to us. Like where you think your limit is on the on the on the lower the surface, scale, yeah. it's just it's just it's just you you you're setting that boundary for yourself. You can actually come out of anything because I'm sure people experienced worse. People lost a lot. People did, and to some extent, you know, we're still people, some people were still able to survive. Or oh, people are still surviving. Oh, you know. Kobe has, you know, the good side was, should I say there was a good side, but people find a way to utilize the whole turbulence and yeah, still and make something great for it. themselves. And that's, and, and that's the resilience of the human spirit. True. Like so that's what I'm saying. Kobe, uh, that's one thing. It resilient. made you understand there's more to you. Right, you know, you can still go. Deep Just deeper. keep doing it. You can still do something. So guys, this is the last week of 2020. And this is all saying Happy New Year in advance. And um, it will get better. Yeah. So keep your spirits We're home. looking forward stay to Stay positive. Yeah, just stay positive. Just and get your hopes high. Forward. You know, just, you know. And chest to the new year. See you in 2020. On the other side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.